Hi, my name is Natalie, and I'm a product manager at Dynascape. Today, we are going to look at some tips to help you use design more effectively and efficiently. We will start with an image. This could be a site plan, a photo, or even a satellite or drone image. Switch to the imaging panel and click on Insert Raster Image. Then click to position it on the drawing. To size it accurately to the scale of the drawing, click on Resize an Existing Raster Image. Choose the longest dimension you can to improve the accuracy of the rescaling process. To zoom or pan with your mouse wheel, hold the Shift key. Measure the distance between two locations to verify the images to scale. The distance appears in the Command Line Interpreter, or CLI. You can open and close this using Shift-Tab. Next, I'll outline the building using the Building tool. This tool creates a 6-inch thick line to represent the wall and a baseline around the exterior to snap to. I like to modify the settings to differentiate the windows and door segments by changing the line weight and fill. You can be more accurate by typing in the segment lengths. If you are working in imperial units, use the single quote to separate feet and inches, and then press tab or enter. If you have fractional inches, use the dash to separate the inch from the fraction, and then press tab or enter. Hide the image when you no longer need it by double-clicking on the raster list. I'm going to add a line for the porch. I have inference and polar constraint settings toggled on, but they can be accessed when needed by holding down Shift to temporarily enable snapping to object locations and by holding Shift and Control to enable polar snapping on the fly. The Design Quick Start Guide has a list of shortcuts and keyboard commands on page 22. My favorite is to type ZZ and then hit Enter to quickly zoom to the drawing limits. Here's another drawing that is almost complete. When labeling, use the Auto Count option to label the number of figures or clustered figures without needing to count them manually. Hold Control and click on a label to view or modify the data and properties. Edit the data and click Save Changes to update the content of the label on the drawing. Look at the properties to update counts or prices without having to delete and recreate the label. You can also apply work areas to your plants and materials. These can be used to categorize the contents of your plant catalog and exports including to Word and Excel. Did one of these tips make your day? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you.